I'm Janae Price, and welcome to Ride With Me, the show where we talk to people we love. I am a triple water sign. About the places they love. Today, we're catching up with the founder of Amsam, Kim Pham, to hear some of her recommendations for Bushwick, Brooklyn. It's literally choose your own adventure. I'm a pool aficionado. And I'll be heading there myself to check them out. That's an aphrodisiac. Ooh, I am so happy. So come along and ride with me. Hello, Kim. Hi, Janae. We are going to be hopping around Bushwick today, one of my favorite neighborhoods in Brooklyn. It just has this really special uniqueness to it where it's kind of this like industrial, old school New York with tons and tons of really interesting indie stores and restaurants and shops. And it just feels like this really incredible community. Well said, well said. So now we're headed to one of my favorite restaurants in the area and also another Amsam team fave is a restaurant called Tong. It's this really beautiful, kind of perfect date night spot. And they do really delicious Thai small plates. I think the decor is reflective of kind of like a sexier, vibier place. Like the walls are textured and there's hints of gold. And that's what I love about this space. I adore this place and we'll take any opportunity to go here. I think I've ordered the full menu at this point, but there's a handful of dishes that are bangers. I normally don't really love oysters, but I would definitely recommend that if you're looking for a sexy date night dish. There's their crispy rice salad, their cow soy, which is a very famous Northern dish, really creamy and rich. Uh, cow soy, where you at? Oh, right there. They don't pull their punches with their spices. Oh, that's gonna be hot. It's a heat that you sweat for, Woo. but you can also enjoy in a multitude of other ways. I love my water. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really bold flavor. Oh. Ooh. Which obviously as a proud and loud Asian food brand, Amsam loves. That, yeah. All right, it's hit me. Yeah. So where are we going next? So next up is Ijiran. This is my favorite ramen spot in New York City. This restaurant chain originated in Japan and this was kind of their first American outpost. Hi. Hi. We're with Thrillist. What I think is actually quite unique about their approach and perhaps like COVID friendly is that they do the individual seatings. You kind of sit into the table and you're kind of divided from the other guests. Everything is done via remote ordering. Do you have any questions? No, I do not. Thank you so much. It's a, a nice sort of traditional way of eating, but also just ideal when you're by yourself. They're kind of famous for their tonkatsu, so this really rich, decadent, full of umami pork bone broth. It's my go-to comfort dish when I just want like this warm bowl to sink into. The ramen itself is truly world-class. Ooh, that's Ooh. nice. But also, like, it's just a great place to just reflect while also having a damn delicious bowl of ramen. <laughs> oh! This is not good weather. So where are we going next? All right, so next up is one of my favorite bars. It's kind of a simple, no-frills bar. It's called Carmelo's. This is where you will find me and my friends on the weekends, drinking perhaps a little bit too much, but just like a really great place to meet friends and just have a vibe. You're not there for bougie cocktails. It's just a good bar. I order a whiskey ginger? good drinks. Everyone's super friendly. You can rock up on a Tuesday. You can rock up on a Thursday. The vibe is going to be the same. They have pool tables. Is that a scratch or something? It's also equally great if you just want to curl up in a booth with some friends and kind of keep to yourself. It's like, choose your own adventure. You're not trying to flex in that place. It's just really welcoming and it's not pretentious. It's a very classic Bushwick bar that you can just rock up and have fun. Wow. 
let's get going to our next spot. Where are we going? We're going to stop off at Mood Ring, which is usually for me a little weekend haunt. I am obsessed with this place and I can't tell you how many nights I've ended up there dancing until the wee hours of the morning. I'm typically drinking a well drink and just going to going to dance. How does one describe Mood Ring? This is the Pisces special. Thank you. It's astrology themed. I absolutely do believe in astrology. Like for so long, I was like, why am I so sensitive? Girl, it's because you're a triple water sign. But even if you weren't an astrology person, Mood Ring is still like just a ton of fun and definitely a uniquely Bushwick place. It's a really great place that is incredibly welcoming of subcultures. It's super queer friendly. I also love that it's Chinese American owned. As someone who runs a proud and loud Asian food brand and as a first gen Vietnamese American myself, we love to support other Asian run businesses. But even if you didn't know all those things, it's still kind of like a sexy Bushwick bar that you can have a boogie at like late in the night. <laughs> Alrighty, so what do you have going on, Kim? Tell the people. <laughs> yes, so I am one of the co-founders of Ansom a proud and loud Asian food brand. I actually run the brand with my sister, Vanessa. We are both first generation Vietnamese American women and daughter of refugees. And we basically started the business because we really wanted to reclaim and celebrate Asian flavors and Asian stories. Thank you so much for talking to us today. And we had a great time going to all of these places. We'll see you on the flip side, Kim. Yeah, thanks so much, Janae. Hope y'all enjoyed Bushwick. <laughs> Thank you. Those are falling. That's falling. I'm gonna get absolutely roasted. I'm so bad with chopsticks. Bush week. Ah. <laughs>